Good morning, guys. Happy, 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 happy Monday. Happy Monday. It's the top of April, right? 2023. Just the beginning is what I mean. The beginning of April 2023. Um, I just want to come here to just talk about marriage a little bit, you know? And how if you don't have the right partner, you can feel like you're trapped, you know? feel like you're in jail you can feel like you're trapped when you have an immature um narcissistic toxic partner it's very much a trap and they use marriage uh paperwork uh children to tie you down you know and listen um this is how i feel about it um you are not a slave you are not a slave you have the option you know, some people leave the, these marriages with their with their life. You know what I mean? They have that's how they have to get out of it. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I just uh, got inspired to do this video as I'm driving. Um, you guys know that I'm following the story, uh, May Adultery and uh, Y'all Adultery. You can drive Judy Austin, the side chick, wife, concubine, whatever you want to call her came into their life and made their life a living hell but I blame the husband you know because like I said the husbands always uh they control the environment of the house because it's, it's God the husband the wife and if you follow the right order anyway but he always changed the environment of the house a lot of times you hear people saying the woman the woman the woman but the husband is the leader if you follow, I'm talking about biblical now. And um, it changes the environment of the house. Guys. Um, I'm watching this story and it's just so unbelievable. Uh, he took on a second wife, right? And she found out about it just like everybody else online. He didn't even have the decency to go and talk to her about it. You know, like in some areas... Uh, in Africa, you can marry as much wife as you want, as long as you take care of them and treat them equally, not abuse them. But you have a lot of men that, um, whether they come from Africa or not, they like to abuse women. They think women are their slaves. They think women are underneath their feet bottom in 2023, so they treat them like crap. But I'm here to just tell you guys that you do not have to deal with it. You can take your foot and walk out. Walk out with your dignity. Walk out with your respect. I'm sorry guys about the camera. This is just real time right now. Um, just walk out. Have some respect about yourself. Hold your head up high even when you feel low. You're gonna feel low. If your husband is treating you like crap, yes, you're gonna feel low. And I'm saying husband because I'm a woman, but you know it happened to men too, right? This lady lost her son. Her first son. There's some spiritual stuff involved with it, right? And now she's in a coma. Um, a matter of fact, this morning I heard good news. They're going to relieve her from the hospital. So she was in a coma. And um, she tried several times to leave her husband and was unsuccessful in doing so. And now that her son died and the family is actually coming around from all over, they see the conditions that their uh, sister was living in. Because a lot of times, guys, you on the outside looking in, you think the marriage is great and everything, and you don't know what the wife or the husband is suffering inside of the household, like jail, like prison, like a slave, you understand me? On the outside, they put on a good grin, but on the inside, he or she is dying. The children are suffering. You understand? Her son died from a heart attack, guys. From depression and, and um, couldn't take what was going on in the household. Okay? Um, just know that whatever we do, it affects our children. So if you're not ready for children, if you're not ready for the responsibility of marriage, do not get married. Marriage is not for babies. Marriage is for committed um, people that want to go the miles, the miles, because when hard time comes, you got to know how to navigate, especially as a leader, right? They they don't give 
it's so hard to get a divorce, right? But get married, anybody could get married. They need to start having some counseling, um, some courses, and you have to be pre-qualified before you could even get married because marriage is like not for babies and it's too much divorce. The divorce rate is too high because everybody take marriage for a play play and it's not a playground. Let me tell you that. I did 25 years of it. It's not a playground. Okay? Um, so now the lady want to leave. The, 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 the family came down for the funeral and the sister saw the condition that her uh, sister is living in in hell. The husband had his uh, concubine. He took her from his, um, from her um, husband, which is an abomination to God, because marriage is a covenant, and he broke up that household. So it's all kind of spiritual ramification because marriage is a covenant. You know, I know people see things with physical eyes, but you better start opening your spiritual eyes because what you sow, so shall you reap, okay? Or karma, whatever you want to call it, guys. In the world, you call it karma. In the Bible, they call it reaping and sowing. You will reap what you sow. You will get exactly what you deserve. What you put out is what you're going to get in, okay? Whether it's good or bad. If you give good, you're going to get good. If you give bad, that's exactly the energy you're going to get back, okay? <clears throat> So now, because her son died, she was in a coma, she wants to, um, I'm just using her life as an example, but unfortunately, she's living her life out on the big screen, and uh, there's a lot of people that go through hell each and every day, getting abused in a marriage, um, husband sleeping, I even, I don't even know if I post that story, but I even hear of stories of the husband not touching his wife and bringing another chick in to sleep in front of his wife. I would not allow that. You can go about your business. You're going to have to beat me up. That is not going to happen. You understand me? So he or she might be thinking that they're hurting their spouse, but trust me, when that happens, it's like you walk away from God and you're just playing in the devil's playground because marriage is a covenant and you turn away from God when you start treating your wife or your husband like a dog. It's not a good thing. Just leave, guys. I'm telling you. Marriage is not something to play with. It has spiritual ramification. And everybody out here married in. Some people don't even know God, but they're married. You know what I'm saying? It's a worship. Marriage is a worship to God. You understand me? Guys, 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 guys. Yes, but you don't take your marriage as an idol either. God don't like idols. Worship God, not your marriage. Okay, so if God is snatching you out of your marriage, depart, flee, run, just leave. And I want to talk about um, people that are in marriages that they feel like they're trapped. <sighs> Let your fingers do the walking and find your way out of that place, even if you have to go in a shelter. But if you have children, I need you to be, hear me and hear me well. Be careful because you cannot just take your child out of a country um out of uh, especially oh god the traffic oh. especially um countries that are oh i gotta get off here yeah, oh no i don't know where i'm going but mm -mm, not today see it time not today okay let me find my way out there is a lot of traffic um oh come on come on come on i know there's an easier way let me get out of here i'm sorry oh, god guys what was i saying guys um you cannot take the kid out of the country because you will get an amber alert and you can go to jail for that. So please don't do that. I'm trying to find another route, guys. <clears throat> and this is what I'm saying. You always have to have an out. As I was driving, there's a lot of traffic this morning. It's going to take me 22 minutes, which I should be fine to, to, right to, to meet my Road. location. Um, Empire Ford of Huntington Parts oh. may be closed by the time you arrive. Okay. Thank you. Turn right onto Roslyn Road. Okay. I gotta get a I gotta take a route, guys. Out of here. I didn't even read the sign. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Powerhouse Road. I hope it's not taking me back on the highway. This okay. route avoids a crash on Northern oh, State Parkway. God. You're yes. on the fastest route. You yes. should reach your destination by 7:36 a.m. I don't know this part of Long Island, but anywho, guys. If you take the kid out of the country of the state. Um, without getting your p proper paperwork in order. What I mean by that is making sure if you know that you want to leave this marriage, 
uh, go and file the proper documentation to get an order of protection. Um, full custody or 50-50 custody. I advise you to get full custody. Uh, parents have visitation rights, so you want to work that out. Normally, some of the time, guys, people use the children as scapegoats. Turn right onto Powerhouse Road. People use the children as uh, scapegoats, and um, they try to use the children to control the other parent, and that is not right. And that's why some people feel trapped sometimes, but you do not have to feel trapped, all right? Because nobody can hold you behind your will. If you sit there because you're so scared, that's on you. One mile. And people do feel like that. They feel trapped. They feel so scared. They feel like there's no out. And then another thing. You get advice from a dummies. I call them dummies. You get advice. I'm sorry, guys. This is a good video, but me touching the thing and everything. Listen, um, <clears throat> you get advice from dummies that don't bend through nothing. They, they have the rose color glasses on and they think life is a fairy tale. They haven't been through nothing. They not married. You, you're getting advice from your single friends. You're getting advice from your side chick friends. You're getting advice from people that have never been through the valley of the shadow of death. They don't know. They have no clue. And you're taking advice from these people. I, I suggest you get advice from, you call um, Safe Horizon, first of all, uh, safehorizon.com. I'm sorry, .org. Talk to a counselor. Um, even if you don't live in the state of New York, you can call them and just talk. They'll, 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 they'll navigate you to the, uh, different agencies, you know? Very good organization. They can set it up, the custody. They help you with all of that stuff. They help you with the custody. They help you with visitation, lawyers, everything. They're going to walk you through it because these people have been through the valley of the shadow of death. They have experience. Okay, it's a domestic violence organization that help you out. You, you cannot take, don't let nobody tell you to take the kid because what you're going to do, you're going to, you're going to end up in a worse situation that, than you are right now because you're taking a child out of the country and you cannot do that. You cannot do that, guys. Where am I going? You cannot do that. You will end up in so much trouble coming back and forth, might get arrested. So just be careful. What am I taking? It didn't say anything, but what road is it? These are uh, these highways don't have the proper signage. I'm just gonna go. It will, it will, it will lead me back around. <clears throat> All right, but um, yeah, guys, you have to just be careful. What? I don't even know what to do. I don't know. Perhaps I could make a... Why is this one saying that? No left turn. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to make a left. I don't even know. I don't see no sign for no highway. I'm just going to go. Anyway. So, do not take the kid out of the country. Do not take the kid out of the state. You're going to be in so much red tape. Your eyes are going to be spinning. Um, try not to... Oh, I came back on the right highway. Try not to do that, guys. Use the left lane to take the I Again, East if you're going to take advice from somebody, at least get advice East. from a counselor or a coach. Somebody that been there and done that, okay? Your little friends on the side, they don't know nothing. They just hear say, never been to no marriage, never been nothing, always been a girlfriend. Never with somebody and being married is not the same thing. You could always leave. You don't got no paperwork tied up, nothing, no problem, nothing. You could just get out, okay? I wish people would understand that marriage is not a play play life. It's not playtime. Uh, it's easy to get into a marriage and it's hard to get out. Divorce is very, very hard. It takes a lot of red tape. You got to go through so much, guys. I just feel sorry for the lady. And she's not the only one, but like I said, her life is playing out on the full screen. And um, <sighs> it's not easy, man. That's why you hear like pulling apart of the flesh, that covenant that I'm talking about. That's why you see so much people commit suicide and um, depression, PTSD, so much health problems. It's not easy. It's, it's soul ties. It's not easy, guys. All right. So, you know, the, the person that you married today, uh, even yourself, 
are going to change. You could change for the better, change for the worse. You could grow together or you could grow apart. You know what I mean? You could grow together or grow apart. Uh, when the communication and the trust break down, no integrity in your marriage, uh, you live with the enemy and you don't know it because <laughs> he smiles and he smiles in your face and try to kill you behind your back with his friends and his uh, side chick or side dude. Yeah, they do these things. You're the only one that don't know that you're sleeping with the enemy. It's horrible. It's the worst thing in the world to have a traitor in your life. And the traitor is in, in your own household. It's worse. It's horrible. And you can never trust this person again. I know a lot of people, um, they go back to the traitor, but you must just want to die. You must really just want to die. I, and I'm a, I'm a Christian, so I know you got to forgive. But you, just because you forgive, and the forgiveness is not for the person. The person didn't ask for your forgiveness, right? So you forgive yourself. You forgive them in your heart. You move on. I don't suggest nobody go back to the enemy. But, it's, you know, like I said, marriage is a covenant. Some people go back and lose their life. Some people go back a um, very small percentage and it work out. Because once somebody betrays you and you go back, they know that you're going to take it. So they do worse and worse and worse. Life is a cycle, guys. Life is a cycle, and that's all you get. It's a cycle. You understand me? Why go back into the cycle of hell? When God free you up, why would you go back? You're going back into bondage. Get out and stay out. No contact. Um, get your paperwork in order. If you see the disaster in your life with your own eyes, and you hear and you see, now you see the pattern of what's going on. All you got to do is keep quiet and watch the person, and you're going to see their behavior see their patterns, the lies that's going to be rolling off their tongues. I'm telling you, I've been there. You understand me? It's rolling off their tongue and they're still lying. And you already know they're lying because God already showed you out. He already told you everything. They don't, you, gotta, you don't got to ask them nothing. Once you got a relationship with God, He shows you everything that is spiritually what these people are doing behind your back. They can't even believe it themselves that you know what's going on. Them wicked, wicked people will kill you. Your husband, your wife is jealous of you and you don't know it. It's a real serious thing, guys. And the devil do not like family. So, yes, he's going to send Satan inside of the a demon, sorry, inside of the weaker vessel, whoever that weak one is that don't have no God. Okay, good. So, I know where I am now. I got out of disaster, guys. So, whoever that weaker vessel is, the demons are going to live inside of that person and going to try to destroy you. Going to try to destroy you because it's not the person that's in front of you. It's a demon working behind them. Okay, that is real because you know in the Bible, uh, Jesus cast out uh, so much legions out of this one uh, man that was standing there. Um, he cast out so much demons, so much demons out of this one man. So it's real. Okay, it's real. And I know if you're not walking with God, you're not going to understand why you think people commit murder, um, husband, wife, family, mother, grandmothers killing their children? Why you think that? You think it's just dumb? No, it's a spirit. All right, guys, that goes inside of them because they got weak vessels. There's no God inside of them. There's no Holy Spirit living inside of them. You understand me? So they don't, they don't care about no God. These people are evil. Like I always say, watch out for the demons in your camp, man. The ones that smile up in your face. I love my enemies that I know from afar. I know they don't like me. Uh, on distance, okay? On um, distance. There's no smiling. There's no waving. There's none of that. I understand. You understand where I'm coming from? And I understand where you're coming from. But when you got the people in your camp that's very close to you, that smile in your face but got the dagger in, in your back, that's very dangerous. And I'm telling you guys, I don't care if it's your mother, your father, your husband, your wives, your children. That's the one that hurt the most when it's your child. You understand me? Sleep in one, yeah, you open. Yes, never sleep on nobody. Never, ever, ever. It's not the person, the physical person. It's the spirit behind them. All right? Demons, evil one, always look for the weaker vessel. Because the thief come to destroy, but the um, but Jesus came to give you um, abundance and everlasting life, guys. Abundance. Listen, like I took a friend yesterday to church, and um, I was happy when the person went up to get prayer and everything. Because a lot of people don't know how to pray for themselves. Just start right where you are. Jesus is going to meet you right where you are. 
right where you are. You in your car, you don't know how to pray. Talk to him just like you talk to your friend. You know what I mean? And ask him just to help you. Just talk to him just like I'm talking now. Just ask him to help. And, and you're gonna see if you develop that, just talking to him every day, every minute. And not only when you got problems, he's gonna come, he's gonna draw closer because you're drawing closer to him. Why do you think people get so depressed? You know, so much depression, suicide, uh, can't cope with issues, one little bit of problem, they wanna off themselves. You know what I mean? Cause there's no love, there's no God living inside of them. They think they got love, but they have the concept of love that the, that, that, that the world have. You understand? Anyway, guys, just leave your comment, like, and share. Um, just, if you have children, guys, and give me a subscription, by the way. If you have children, do not just get up and, and take the kids like that. I don't care what nobody is telling you. I've been through this process. I know what I'm talking about. I helped many, many people not get an Amber Alert. You're not taking your kids up nowhere, especially if you're married. You're not doing that. Okay, don't you know... Um, if you get, even if you get a passport for, and that's another thing, parents think that they don't need each other. It's certain documentation, certain things you got to walk through in life together. So it's better to just be amicable. If you can't get along, and men, if you're so greedy, if you got somebody else and you don't love the person no more, just tell them and just move on. Just be honest. Why, why would you create chaos? You came in the marriage so happy, so laughing, and going out, you go out in hell because you don't know how to be, um, faithful you don't know how to be honorable you don't know how to be loyal you don't know how to be respectful just basic common sense you know what i mean and then you think you're hurting your spouse but you're hurting god because it's a covenant right you're hurting your children Where? Oh my god. you're hurting your children as well you know what i mean you're hurting your grandkids that's not even here yet you're hurting your family you're hurting your friends nobody's going to want to talk to you because they're not you know, they don't, they don't believe you because you're not loyal. When they see how you treat your spouse like crap, they be like, oh, God. You know what I mean? Because that's supposed to be your next, your next thing. Your, um, your spouse is supposed to be your favor. You know what I mean? Your ride or die. But look how you treat them. If you treat that relationship, that commitment like garbage, how are you going to get into a business commitment? You can't even be loyal in your marriage. <laughs> Who's taking you serious? Oh, come on, guys. Think. You really, really think, and the person that you're running off to, uh, in the moment, they might think, oh, yeah, I love this person, but don't you think in the back of their mind, and they're going to always throw it in your face, oh, you're going to do the same thing to me. And what, what, when you see how the jealousy and everything come in place, they so jealous, everything, because they know what you did to your ex-partner. Come on, guys. And when that start turning around, you guys become, you, you guys be, you, you already throw a sword in your household. You got a sword in your household, and that's in the book of Proverbs. You know what I mean? You got a sword in your household, guys. You know? You brought a sword in your household. Death, destruction, all of that stuff. Sickness. Anytime you perform adultery, you get sickness and death of your finance, death of your spiritual life, death of everything in your life. And sometimes even actual death. I'm telling you, if it, if it don't happen to you, it happens to your kids, kids, kids. I got to go now, but... It is what it is. I'll talk to you guys. Make sure you give me a subscription. Thank you.